Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to install XAMPP or XAMPP on a Chromebook. But before we do that, if you like videos where I show you how to install software and how to set that up, make sure to subscribe. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is set up the Linux development environment. So I'm going to go over to my launcher here and click on the launcher and then I'm going to search for my settings. Once I find the, the link to my settings, I'll click on that and open up my settings. And on the left here, I have a bunch of tabs. I'm going to go down to the advanced tab and click to expand that. Once that expands, I'll see this tab developers. I'll click on that. And then I have this Linux development environment here. I'll click turn on and then next. And it's going to give me a username based off my email. I think this is the only time you can change your username, so if you really don't like it, you might want to change it now. The disk size can be changed at any later point, so I'm just going to keep that one as is, and my username is fine. I'm going to keep that as is, and I'm just going to click install, and I'm going to let that go ahead and install. That'll take a few minutes. I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. I can close the settings now and I'm going to maximize this terminal so you can see what I'm doing and increase the font size. I'm going to make sure everything is up to date by typing sudo apt update and then two ampersands for and and then sudo apt upgrade with a dash y flag so I don't have to answer yes to the additional space. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to let that run. That'll take a few minutes so I'll come on back once that's done. Once everything is updated in the Linux development environment, we can install XAMPP. Okay, so I'm going to keep the terminal open and I'm going to open a browser here and search for XAMPP and hit enter. So that's XAMPP. And I get this XAMPP installers friends thing. It's uh, apachefriends.org is the site. And I want to install this for Linux. Uh, at the time of this recording, the version is 8.2.4. I'm going to click on this and it's going to take a, a moment and download the XAMPP installer. Okay, once the XAMPP installer is downloaded, we can close out our browser here, and I'm gonna go to my downloads folder, and I see this XAMPP Linux installer.run. I'm going to cut that, and then I'm gonna to go to my Linux files and paste that into my Linux files. Okay, that might take a minute or two to move on over. Uh, I'm gonna list out my storage, and then I can confirm that I have that. And I want to say, change the permissions on the installer so that it's executable. So I'm going to type sudo chmod plus x and then xamp installer.run. Okay. And then to run the file, I'm going to type sudo and then a period forward slash and then the name of the file. And I just start to type out xamp and hit tab to autocomplete. I'm going to hit enter. Okay. It's going to ask me if I want the developer files. I'll say sure. Uh, is the above selection correct? Yes. Um, XAMPP will be installed in the opt lamp directory. Press enter to continue. I'm going to press enter. Uh, it's going to say it's going to begin installing. Do you want that to occur? I'm going to say yes and hit enter. And now it's going to go ahead and install. And this could take up to like 10 minutes or so. So I'll come on back once that's done. Okay. XAMPP has gone ahead and installed on my computer. A few things. Um, if I want to restart XAMPP, I can do sudo opt lamp lamp restart and hit enter. And then it'll shut stuff off and restart it. I can stop with sudo slash opt lamp lamp stop like so. And if I want to create a file in htdocs, I want to cd into my opt lamp uh, and then what I've got to do is change the permissions on htdocs. So I can do sudo uh, chmod777 htdocs, like so. And then I can cd into htdocs and make, uh, say, a test directory, like so. OK. Um, the other thing I might want to do is go up a level here. I can cd into e, uh, etc slash extra here. And if I list out the storage, I've noticed I've got this HTTPD 
zamp.configuration file. Uh, so I can run ph, um, PHP admin and that kind of stuff. What I can do is do sudo vim httpd xampp.conf here. And I can go down here to where it says require local and change this to require all granted. Now you do have to do the sudo in front of vim because otherwise it'll be read only. All right, so I can now write and quit and I should be ready to go. I can build my projects in the htdocs folder and then when I run them, um, I have to do penguin.linux uh, test to run it on a Chromebook. But you can start to build your PHP um, projects right from uh, your htdocs folder. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like. Thank you.